Good evening. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> you worked out the trains, I see. The uh, I, I uploaded some emotes. They are tracks. That's all I know. Um, anyway, hello. Welcome. Uh, yell at me if I touch my face, and please wash your hands, I guess. Um, yeah. So, what shall we do today? I know there are bugs in this code we have, in particular around, whoops, not that, around <clears throat> uh, three-way tracks like this. Uh, there are bugs. Nope, we got lucky that time. <laughs> um, but, I'm taking a break from math tonight, and I need a confidence boost. And writing code that works and that I can understand is a confidence boost. So, <clears throat> oh, there was a bug. Let's see if it happens again. So down here, oh, there it is. Um, actually, that one I probably know what it is and could fix, but no, 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 don't mind. Fine, bugs. I'm just there you go, no bugs. Um, so yeah, uh, I think it's time to write some code that I will enjoy writing. And I could write tests, because I kind of threatened to do that. Um, I threatened to do it off stream, and then all of you wonderful people did this to me and said, no, no, please. I mean, there's only 23 votes, but you know, I don't get that many viewers. So that's probably a fair majority. So apparently you love unit tests, that's great, um, but yeah, I'm just kind of in the mood, given what's going on around the world, that I feel like being productive and doing something, um, well, basically something that doesn't involve math, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, and so I think I have two ideas, which you might see if you're watching on Twitch, the stream title. Either ordering in DI, um, and that would be for uh, these buttons. Uh, they're in just the wrong order. Like it should be pointer, track, eraser, train. Maybe I don't know. I'll work that out. Um, same thing with these buttons. They should probably be in a better order. Uh, I should fix this at one at some point. I should probably make these buttons look nicer at some point, but. But so ordering is one. The other thing I want to do, <coughs> whoops, the other thing I want to do is I want to start to work on collisions or rather uh, avoiding collisions. And so the first thing I want to do to do that is to have a point in front of the train where it senses or where, it, which is the point at which it will look for, you know, obstructions or missing tracks or whatever. And so I thought just to draw that point would be a nice start. So. I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I think I'll start. Hmm, I wanna start with ordering. So, <clears throat> what would ordering involve? Let's think about this. So, the moment with our DI, we register any type that is in the trains.net namespace, and we register it as every interface it implements. So, if we take something like iTool, uh, sorry, not iTool, bad example, that's the interface. If we take something like, uh, where's train tool? Train tool. So train tool gets registered as an iTool. What I'm kind of thinking for ordering is something like putting an order attribute on here of say, well, I mean, I guess we could use five, but let's do 50. And then on uh, pointer tool, which we want to be first, we put an order of one. So something has to process those orders. So the way that tools, I believe they're imported by the main page. Uh, yeah. So tools currently take an enumerable of tools. So <clears throat> the thing is, we're not doing anything to, uh, well, to enable that basically. That all comes for free with the DI. 
so. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do this. <laughs> there's basically, I, as far as I'm, I can think, there's two approaches. One is to create some kind of list class, say ordered list. Um, there probably is an ordered list actually in .NET. Um, so anyway, creating a an ordered list type that we hook up with the AI and that does the reading. But what I want to try, and I've no idea if this is going to work, <clears throat> we should be able to hear when we register the interface and say, hey, uh, you know, a, a pointer tool is an eye tool. We should also be able to just go through and say, if it's an interface, otherwise we don't need to do anything. So for any type that is an interface, in theory, we should be able to register a singleton, uh, which is an I enumerable. I can't do it that way though. I've got to do. Uh, yeah, so it would be an enumerable T, and we have to generate that type, which is fine. And then for the implementation type, well, we could create a, we'd probably just do this and just do a function. That might work. Um, hmm, do we want, is a singleton enough? I think so. We're still going to have an enumerable, so it's enumerable, so it's still immutable, so that's cool. Um, yeah, a func, the only thing is, so with the func, that gives us a, that gives us a service provider and we return an object. So if we have the service provider, which is this thing, right here, can we get all of the services? Yes, we can. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if this works. All right. First things first, we need to create this order attribute and I'm going to put it in here to start with, but realistically, it should probably go in a separate library because frames.net.engine is the lowest level, but this kind of has nothing to do with trains and is purely uh, part of our sort of DI system. I don't know, we don't have a great DI system. Generate credits. Um, why is it? Why? Oh, actually, usage. Cool. So we want to be able to use these attributes on classes and we need to add a constructor that takes an int called order. We pretty much just need to set it. Yeah. So this this interface the uh, sorry the attribute doesn't actually do anything; just stores a stores a number. So now what happens is down here. So if we have an interface, we need to construct an I'm uh, an I enumerable type. So our enumerable of T is type of I enumerable. So when you do a type of, you can actually just specify generics without anything, which I think is cool. And then, <clears throat> now we have the, uh, it's called an open generic, basically a generic that has no thing in the middle. Once we have the open generic, we can say, hey, make me a proper generic, and we pass in whatever those types are. So in this case, it's a D. So now this type, is an I enumerable of whatever this type is, or it's the type of I enumerable. Anyway, so then we want to add that, oops, add that to our thing. I don't know if singleton is right. I do not trust me on DI stuff. I'm doing what works for me. <laughs> so when we have a numeral of T, now we're going to have a service provider, uh, yeah, service writer, and so we need to construct our 
list. So the first thing we're going to do is say give me all of these services for this type. So this will be all of the t all of the, t the t's. Uh, this is my movable object. Okay. Um, so essentially, this will be all of the tools. <clears throat> now I need to return an iron movable. So uh, this is actually pretty easy. I can just return from service in services. Uh, we want to. Is this an actual object? It is. I think iron movable object. Yes. We want to go. Uh, how do we how do we do this? We need to get the order attribute from the type. So it's uh, well order by. No, let's let's do let. So the attribute we want is the service. Get its type. Why is that not? I don't really have an entirely sense. Get type does not exist in the current context. Um, am I missing? System.link, I am. Yeah. Okay, see if that's a bit happier now. There we are. So we get type, then we get a custom attribute of type. Order attribute. Uh, can we add a user? What did I call it? Order attribute. Oh, it's internal. Oh, but Okay, now I'm just going to complain about X in the comments too. Okay, so give me the custom attribute. Oh, it only gives me one. Oh, that's cool. I thought there used to be a way to. Uh, I, I thought it was only in arrays, but you know. uh, we may as well do inheritance and then we want to go dot order. And then we want to go order by. Uh, actually, this is. This is order, and we're ordering by order. And I think that's it. Um, do I need to select? Yeah. Okay, that might work. I have no idea. I'm pretty sure this... Will this return null, or will this... Throw an exception. And eh, let's find out. Where's the fun in knowing, hey? Uh, this could have been very, very quick. So, in theory, now what we should see is train pointer at the bottom two, and then everything else, I guess, would be zero. But yeah, that is either going to be null or throw an exception. I'm betting throw an exception just to make my life slightly harder. Because then I'm going to catch an exception inside the link, which is questionable. Um, nothing is happening. What's the bet on like in an infinite loop or something? A break point. Can't prevent that. Oh, yes, you can. Um, break point there. No? What are we doing? Why are we stuck? Where are we? <clears throat> okay, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, right. Oh. No, that should... Where's the full stack? I bet you we are in the infinite loop. <clears throat> so this is anonymous method, which calls anonymous method. Yeah, okay. Um, That's annoying. I would have thought that this would be lazy as in this function would only be called when it actually needs to construct a type uh, an, an object of that type which means I would have thought it would get through this whole method before doing it that's interesting so I'm, I can't the problem is I can't even tell where we are because I've run out of stack space. So let's try this again. <clears throat> we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll put a breakpoint there as well. Oh, 
I yeah, I would assume so this is getting called as we start up. But I would have thought this function would only be called either here or when it actually goes to construct the main form, which is here. Uh, this, yeah, this gets service main page. So let's find out. Okay, it doesn't get called straight away, that's good. We should be able to run to completion now. Oh, I don't know. That's fine. Interfaces, what are those interfaces? So we're doing our track parameters, our track renderer. Okay. So we've got through all that. Is it get called when we build the service provider? No. Huh. I wonder why this is an infinite loop. So I would expect it now to hit that breakpoint. Yep. So Get services. T is an I layer renderer. Okay, yeah, we would be looking for an I enumerable of I layer renderers. That makes sense. Why would get services call into itself? Hmm. Um, should we see if we can debug this? I think we should. Let's see if we have any symbols available. We should, because this is open source. Cool. Uh, yeah, so this is what I download from GitHub. That's excellent. Don't ask me again, even though you definitely will ask me again. <laughs> that is not the first time I've seen that. Um, that's interesting. So service type, service type is, hello, nope, service type, oh, I can't do that, okay. We can go back to here. Service type is I layer renderer. Yep. So it's making a generic type. So it's doing the same thing I was doing. Generic renderer. Oh, it's getting, oh. <clears throat> Oh, see, I don't want it to get a re that. I want to actually just retrieve the services. Oh, that's interesting. So that calls that. Um, actually, yeah, that is no way. That's still weird. I would say I can see if this line is causing it because this is saying, "Hey, give me from this same service provider, give me the I Oh, uh, that's annoying. I wonder if there's a way to get. How do you? But wait. <laughs> If you can't, no, it's just because I'm doing iNeural. So we might need to do a different interface or a custom type or something. Unless there's a method on here, and this is all extension methods. Unless there's a method on here that says, just give me the, wrap it in a func. It is in a func. What do you mean? Uh, it is in a func. This is a func. A factory factory. Well, does that help? I need to get at some point I still need to do this. Oops. Um Yeah, if this is gonna go through DI, I don't think that I kinda of don't want that. I want it to get um <clears throat> I want it to just sort of get me the services that have been registered without any kind of you know any kind of uh, extra stuff. Let's load some more symbols. <clears throat> Let's see if I can dig through some code. You know what I could do is I could just say call get services from um, a singleton funk. Let's see if anyone else has had this problem. How do you use funk? Nah, that's no. Yeah, this one. Oh, okay. This one. Yeah, see, it doesn't say anything about. <coughs> it doesn't say anything about. 
um, has a single service is type is my T service. Oh, okay, yeah, that's just the generic one. I can't use that one. I do not have generics. Um, yeah, generic, generic, generic. Yeah. Mm. Transients. I mean, unless I need to do transients. I don't know. But getting the type in the funk help. Getting the type. So what I want here is a list of all of the things that implement whatever my interface type is. The problem is that's being done by the DI in a way that ends up in an infinite loop because it's just saying make an I enumerable and then get that. I kind of want that raw list, which, well, let's just have a look. Get services, <coughs> create scope. This doesn't look right. Mm, I don't believe that intelligence. I think an I ordered T. Yeah, that's kind of. I might have to do that. Basically, create a different type so that if it's using, I could do a generic lerp. Um, yeah, that's always that's always good. Lerping is fun. Um, yeah, I think maybe getting get custom attributes. Is that someone looking up an extension method on object or something? What what is that? No, that's just intelligence. <laughs> um okay. I I mean yeah, so I ordered interestingly what well, we could do Ooh no, can we do I ordered No. Probably couldn't. Probably couldn't do I ordered. See, if I ordered implemented I enumerable, and you said I'd like all I enumerables to be I ordered, I wonder if that would work. Because then that would mean we can just um, uh, we can just have the work done in the ordered collection, not in here at all. But maybe a tool in another assembly. Um, well, this at the moment doesn't do ultra, like that would have to change anyway to handle other assemblies. Um, <clears throat> is something for a future date. I don't know why this IntelliSense is it's clearly showing me everything from system.type as well, which is weird. Um, yeah, let's go. I don't imagine that does it. Um, okay, so let's try. What are we trying? I'm going to try an I orderable. Uh, two. Okay, so let's try an OI. An OI. An OI ordered. So, um, I'll try it here, but yeah, I'd really. I'd, I mean, if I can keep the function definitions to still take I numeral, that would be awesome. So uh, I ordered. The other possibility with this is to uh, give up on this crappy DI and use a proper DI system like MEF, which already can do this, or at least allows doing this. Um, is it a class? Yeah, actually, yeah, let's. So if we go ordered list, and we say that it's an I enumerable of t er, nope t um so what i'm thinking here is can we be a bit lazy and just say you know what adds yeah uh here so we have our enumerable t we have our ordered ordered list of t this is not uh this is an ordered list and then can we say um let's just comment that out 
when you want an innumerable of t, take an ordered list of t. And then hopefully fill that in. No, that can't be it. That can't be right. Theoretically, you could undo all the DI changes and then add an explicit registration. Uh, yeah, so that explicit registration, I don't know that that'll work. If it asks for an I in your old constructor. Oh, that's a very good point. Um, no, wait, hang on. No, that, I think that's still in, isn't that still an infinite? loop so that'll work if i take an ordered list as the parameter and that ordered list maybe can implement i enumerable but if it if 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 it tries to construct an ordered list and that takes an i enumerable then i enumerable it needs to, to get the ordered list right so i'd have to change all the parameter types of that which i'm not against but i i'm very curious whether this works I kind of don't expect it to, now that I've written the code, it looks kind of wrong. Uh, <clears throat> um, ugh, man, I've got to write all this stuff now, don't I? Urgh. All right. I need a level of T as well. Come on. No, no. Generate. Do me the thing. I was already in the interface list. Oh, what am I saying? I enumerate all. Whoops. Oh, actually, can I do? Oh no, I can do this. I can do this with yield. Uh, that's a lot. I can just go. Um, well, this is never going to work because this has no add methods. Yeah. Okay. No. This this is a terrible idea. Do I just bite the bullet and use meth? I feel like that'll take an hour at least. Yeah, no, because no, th this is this is a silly notion because the uh Yeah. Okay, so what I need to do, I can go back to my probably the easiest thing is to go back to my funk here. But do it on order list of t, and then I need to return an ordered list, and so I can just go um, ordered list. Oh, I don't have t. Hmm. Uh, okay, so I can go. Ordered list equals so we create oops, create and so we create an order list of t and then all I need to do is call add on it. So I can take don't want to rename it uh, class ordered list. This inherits from ordered list because I need to be able to refer to it without my generics. I can do so this is ordered list. Whoops. That's ordered list. So what I can do now is say add range. Add that. Return the ordered list. Now all I need to do is generate that method. So with this way, I do need to change my types. No literal possible null value. Okay. Um, I don't know. Throw an exception. When in doubt, uh, why doesn't this model use pattern matching? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, um, so my add range method takes an i new rule. I think this might be okay still implementing i new rule, but we'll see. So we need now a protect protected 
Um, what do we need? Actually, we can... Yeah, we actually don't need anything, do we? We can just go list our list if there's innumerable. Generate that property. Market protectors. Get rid of that because I don't need that. And then initialized. Yeah, well, fine. And then here we simply go for each. You know what? Let's be even lazy. Let's use link. Uh, base dot list dot cast to t. I think this will work. Can I implicitly convert inumerable t to enumerator of t? Oh, whoops, not that. Yield. No, I don't want to yield. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, I don't want to yield. Okay. Let's see if this works. What's wrong with this? This is not null here. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad it's not null. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, okay. Apparently, I'm really fussy in those compiler. I thought I required this. I don't require this. That's weird. Uh, okay, so that I have no idea what happened. I guess that worked. Cool. Cool. That did nothing. Oh, I didn't change the <laughs> parameter times. Okay. So, uh, main page now takes an ordered list of tools. Um, cool. Actually, that's not the worst thing in the world because if I don't care about the order of layers, I just take an iron rule. Although in this case, I do totally care about the order of layers, but we'll worry about that later. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Oh, please tell me in the chat if I touch my face. <laughs> Is hair allowed? Is hair, you want to touch your head? Uh, okay, so if this hits this breakpoint again after I press F10, we haven't fixed the problem. Oh, okay. Cool. There we have our four tools. We've created an ordered list. That's nice. We added stuff to it. Hey. Oh, uh, that's weird. Why did object reference not set to an instance of an object? Oh, uh, um, this dot list. So that add range should have been called. So we should have a list. Let me put a breakpoint there. Do we have a list? What list? List. Yes. It's null. Oh no, wait. What? Oh no, it's a oh it's deferred execution. Oh you know what? I bet you it's this. I bet you this is the null exception from here. I bet you if I put a breakpoint there. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, it's this. This is going to be null because I haven't filled in the words. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I can cope with that because I can put a comma there, a uh, question mark there, and just say that we did have to zero. Let's edit and continue work inside link statements now. Oh my god, it does! Thank you, debugger team. Yay, look at that. I have pointer and train. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's right, zero, zero, ten, fifty. I think it's working. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I kind of would have liked to get away with not changing the parameter list. Um, although actually, now that I think about it, even with MEF, so the way MEF, MEF supports these metadata things, MEF is just another DI framework, and it supports excuse me, the idea of metadata and so you can apply whatever metadata you want. The way it works with MEF would be 
I believe that you still write this as enumerable, but you construct the collection yourself and it fills it in. So either way, it's code changes. Um, so yeah, maybe I'm okay with that. So let's let's put the rest of our things in. So we've said train is 50, fine. Track we'll have as 10. And I guess that leaves eraser as 20. Uh, <laughs> when I say a word, my fingers tap it. Um, drink lots of water. Stay safe. Have you washed your hands? Go wash your hands. I'll wait. Uh, point to track, erase the train. Yay! <gasps> Finally. Ugh. Because every time, every time I press the wrong button. Awesome. Okay. We have ordered or ordering in our DI. That's excellent. I would like to find our all I enumerables. Because I think I'm going to change them all. Why are you not docked? Dock yourself. Dock yourself before you wreck yourself. Uh, so yeah, in an if I don't fill in the order in the order attribute, it'll all just be zero. That's fine. Um, oh, that doesn't know that. Okay, that's okay. Sorry, it's only what am I doing? It's only constructors. Um, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There's constructor. Yeah, layer layer renderers we need to also specify an order on. Um, although no, that's uh, <laughs> so the other thing about MEF is you have to put in uh, importing you have to tag every constructor that is a MEF import constructor, and I hate it. I hate it, and I want it to be automatic, and so that's why I designed this DI system so it is automatic. But the funny thing is now I'm like, wait, is this called by the DI or is this called directly? And I can't remember. Um, so why does game take a list of players? Why does why does this take a list? Oh, that's for the buttons. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm not in love with the fact that this is object, but I'm kind of too lazy to do anything about it. Um, no. <laughs> um. Yeah, what's wrong with this one? Who made it to end in collection? But it ends in list. No, suppress or configure. You, ah, uh, pardon me, keyword. Oh, 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 yes. None. Turn them off. If you don't like a rule, turn them off. Rules are meant to be turned off. Didn't go away. Uh, okay. Let's clean this up. Come on, go away, Greymine. One of, or is it complaining that it should be in a separate file now? No, it's still in the collection. Oops. Ugh. See, one seven one zero. Oh. Did that work? <clears throat> it didn't. Ah, let's try again. Severity, no. Excuse me, I coughed. It's just because I've got something in my throat from talking. Don't worry. I think that's a bug. Because it should have added it there. Uh, but never mind. What? Um, 1710. Oh, they work now. Weird. Okay, cool. I think we've done DI madness. <clears throat> uh, DI madness in with ordering. Um, what do we do? Couldn't create an order list of. Or um, T. Of. Oh, of. And 
dot sign. Yay! <clears throat> right, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, is that it? Are we done? That really was just too easy, wasn't it? Oh, you know what? Let's do our uh, layer renderers. Let's order them. <clears throat> okay, so we have grid, happiness, track layout, trains, a little bit more, diagnostics. Alright, so diagnostics we want always on top. So that's a thousand. Trains needs to be on top of tracks. So I'll say 500 for trains, and then tracks can be 450. I don't know why. <clears throat> Happiness needs to be under track, so I'm going to go 449. <laughs> why not? Uh, grid should, I guess, be zero. Oops. And usings, usings. Um, cool. Now to test this, um, probably need to fudge the numbers a bit. Can you do vertical tracks? I can do vertical tracks. Ha! Huh. I think. You can earn the right to get vertical tracks or something. I honestly don't know how. <laughs> something to do with bits. Um, I can't test it because you're not allowed to spend bits in your own channel or whatever. I also don't have. Ah! Oh no! Mosquito. Hmm. It bit me. It got me. I'm gonna be scratching later. Okay, trains. So tracks, trains, configuration, WPF running above, grid, happiness, tracks, trains, diagnostics. I think that's the same order it was in before, but it looks right. Subscribe to tier two. Oh, is it is it a tier two th is it a tier thing? I don't even know. I'm sorry, Twitch viewers. I'm a bad Twitch citizen. Hey, can you vertical tracks? Now, would you like to know the funny story behind why there's no corner tracks? Well, I'll tell you, it's because I'm really lazy. I had to redraw all those tracks for Twitch and upload all of them at three different sizes. And and the the three that I needed for the wait, no. Oh no, sorry. The emotes are all the same size. There's one other secret hidden thing. That is not an emote. Uh, yeah. Um, I think. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea how to. Uh, oh, I can. I can delete your message that you subscribed. Uh, no idea how to do it. But if in exchange for bits, I'm pretty sure you should get a picture of a train. Anyway, enough about Twitch. Um, well, actually, no, not enough about Twitch. If anyone in the chat can explain to me all of this Twitch stuff, because I know I'm a bad citizen, but, you know, it's a train with a track? <laughs> Wait, I mean, a, with a hat? Wait, what? You can do that? How did you do that? See, I know nothing about Twitch. Oh, there's a little... There's a button, and I can... No, no. Anyway. Uh, how are you doing this? Gosh. All right. Stop distracting me with weird emotes. Uh, we have, what have we done? We have uh, add ordering to the, actually, no, wait, hang on. We want to test this. Let's put happiness on track, on top of tracks. And just to make sure. Ping Mark Miller. Okay. I don't know who that is, but I can probably find out. Um, I'm guessing it's someone who's I mean, yeah, there's other people on Twitch I know, and I just Yeah, it works. I feel bad asking because it's like it's it's not that hard. I'm sure it's not hard. I just haven't put the effort in. Uh there we are. So I'm renaming this game boats.net. Um what happens is you draw uh 
You draw rivers. Whoops. Wrong. Yeah. Bleh. Forgot that we have So you draw rivers uh, like this, and then you can put boats uh, on the rivers. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be at least the third or fourth time where I thought I was making a train game and it turned out I was making a paint program that's extremely limited. Uh, anyway, cool. So that works. Uh, 449. I mean, again, you know, we should maybe test. Sure, whatever. Cool. Commit it. That's done. So now that we have layering or ordering of layers. Let's make a new layer. Close all it down. Let's make a new layer. I want to make a train collision. No. You know what? Let's let's be more generic. Let's call it a bounding box uh, renderer. So I want to have something. You mean the rivers look awesome? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I want to have something that will help debug a uh, uh, help debug the stuff we're going to need for collisions. <clears throat> so this is bounding boxes. I have no idea how long layer names can be. Okay, so let's talk about rendering. I guess this needs to just copy the code from the trains renderer because well we definitely need the game board and we definitely need the pixel mapper. We probably don't need the train renderer uh, but that's cool. We can get that. So let's get rid of that one. And now we just press control, ah, control dot a few times until we've gotten rid of everything. Oh, that doesn't work. Never mind. Some of them work when you're in that position in the text, some of them don't. I don't know. Uh, okay, and then, so let's just copy this. So for a bounding box, we want to get all the trains, which is fair. We want to do the same kind of mapping. We want to do the same translating. <clears throat> so initially what I want to do is just draw a point at, if you think about it as the nose of the train, but kind of in front of the nose. Basically, okay, tell you what, imagine the trains have eyes. The point on the tracks or in, in the world where the train is looking to see if it can go forward. So I'm pretty sure all I need to do is translate and rotate by the same amount as a train does, which, you know, it's not ideal that I'm copying this from. Well, actually, no, let's not copy it. Let's, let's extract this to a method. Yeah, that's fine. We can we can do this. Uh, hmm. Although, now let's let's extract to a method. I'll worry about it later. What I was thinking was, in future, this should draw the bounding boxes for cars as well. We don't have cars. So this is um, let's go set up canvas to draw. Train. That's a terrible, terrible thing. I apologize. I apologize to you all. You shouldn't have to watch that. Um, train, and I want to make it static, so I need to pass in train. Uh, no, not train parameters. Track parameters, and now we can remove this. Okay. So here, I want to say train renderer set up canvas. Canvas train track parameters. Okay, so now in theory, what we have is, uh, oops, um, oh, this didn't even take in, this took in a pixel mapper. Okay. Yep, wrong button. No, come on. 
Wake up intelligence. There we are. Okay, so in theory now, what we have done is we have, if you imagine our cell as a square, we are in the right spot in the center of the train and we are facing the right direction. So, in theory, all we need to do is move, say, one cell to the right, I think, because at zero the train's facing right. So if we move, if we move our left position, our, our x, one cell width to the right, we should be dead in front of the train, in front of the nose. So that's what we're going to do, or at least we're going to try it. So we're going to go that equals uh, picture method. Oh, is it track runners? Cell size? Yes. Boy, that needs to change. Because if we have train parameters and track parameters, we should update the parameters. Um, okay, so we're going to, yeah, let's just increase by one cell. That's in pixels, so that's fine. And then uh, all we need to do is draw, let's draw a circle uh, at point x comma y, so hopefully centered on. We'll go radius uh, 3 and we'll call it uh, hit test point, collision point. I don't even know. Uh, focal point. That's what I'm going to call it. Focal point. All right, and then do we have a paint or something here. Yeah. Let's be super lazy. Go to paint. Call alt focal point. Yeah, and that's what it starts with. Underscore. Uh, red fill. Yeah. Oh no, let's do green. We've done red. Okay. If this is correct, and there's almost no chance it is, <clears throat> in fact, I would bet on the fact that this will appear uh, below the train. There's no argument for I. Uh, but if this is correct, this should just work. And then the only thing that we probably, well, we could do, maybe want to do, is this, this plus equals cell size maybe needs to be a parameter that come from the train. So essentially the train defines how far in front it looks. Okay, so there we are. So we should be able to turn this on. I forgot to give it an order. So it's going to be... Oh, wait, is it at the bottom? Okay. I told you it wouldn't work, so I was right about that. Um, <clears throat> That's kind of weird, maybe. It's bouncing around like a like a wee bad thing. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, there it is back. I kind of want a pause button. <laughs> what are you doing? All right. Uh, what is going on? I've translated, but the scale is still the same. Hmm. So I've translated to the cell. Then what? Let's go right there. Okay, let's have a look. And you know what? Uh, where are we? I'm gonna make it even easier. Put a track. Put a train. Okay. So <clears throat> we are at column three, row four. I'm sure that's right. I can't remember. So that's 120. That's 160. That sounds right. Translate to there. Oh. Yep, right, works out. We translated, so we don't need to do this. We just draw it. And, yep, there we go. <clears throat> you were thinking that you knew it. I know, you just didn't tell me. It's all right, it's fine. I appreciate it. So I think the angle was still wrong, though. I think it was still off to the, off to the side rather than in front. Like it should be. Oh no, hey, it's in front. Awesome. See, this is what I love about layers. There's like when I'm writing the collision code, there you go. There's the point. Hmm. 
In fact, ooh, I'm going to go further. Check this out. So, if that's our point, I can go pixel mapper dot pixels to chords. Um, uh, so this does need. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, no. I want to know what the real pixel. Oh, can I ask the canvas? Can I ask the canvas what the real pixels are in the current translation? That would be really nice if I could do that. Hmm. So I kind of want to get local, whatever. If you add cell size to X before you translate, then translate in one of these words. Yeah, uh, that's true. But I still need to account for the angle, so I still need to do this thing that I'm thinking of doing. Uh, and no, I don't want to do math to account for the angle. Thank you very much. Um. Oh, that's so annoying. Um, yeah, I want to know where that circle really is. Hmm. Uh, skia get real coordinates. Oh, what? No, <laughs> not that type of translate. <laughs> no, not that type of translate. Ugh. Jeez, Bing. Um. That could be it. Matrix.trans. Oh, okay, so that's a bit of math, maybe. Should we reverse the pattern scale done with a bitmap using the trans x minus x here? Okay. You know what would be nice if it was actually, I didn't think to look at that matrix. That's the current matrix? Yes. Does that have a method on it? <gasps> Map points. Surely that's it. Applies the matrix. I want to unmap. Don't I? I want to unmap? Or do I want to. Maybe I map. Maybe I map 0 and. Try invert. Seems to invert the matrix, if possible. Oh, so I could invert it. You know what? Let's play around with this. Okay, so we want to map a point. Uh, yeah, we want to map. We want to map this point. Mapped. I want invert. Oh, uh, that out uh, inverted, and then we're going to set map to inverted dot um. Do that. All right, let's see which one of these is right. Because, because then what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to highlight the cell underneath this point. Because actually that might, that's going to be nicer than, I think that even might be nicer to turn off the point if we do that. And it's kind of a real bounding box in a way. I mean, well, bounding's, I guess bounding's the word. <clears throat> okay, so we are mapping from 40, 0. Our map coordinates are 750. So x480. No, that's not right. It should be much closer to those. So can we invert them? Yes. What's our map now? 326, 4, or oh, minus 326. Nope, that's not right either. Hmm. Seven fifty. Well, okay, that's fine. 
let's try let's try this so this is our uh, this is canvas's matrix um, touch point dot x so that's <clears throat> that's that that's zero uh, it worries me that I mean I guess maybe they just renamed the parameter but maybe maybe my Google wasn't very good uh, so this is uh, real x and real y Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to go col and row is pixel mapper dot pixels to chords real x and real y. And now I'm pretty sure is that against you know, <laughs> I gotta I gotta get off the ink train. But I like ink. Um, now I'm pretty sure, what does the happiness renderer do? Can I call it? Ah, oh, just... alright. Oh no, we want to, no, we want to do cores to pixels again. Yes, that makes sense. So then we do that, we do that, and then our paint, which we're going to call our, we call it our, Highlights and it's going to be magenta. Uh, highlight, yep. And then uh, let's track parameters. Okay. Let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, that's the worst that could happen because it doesn't compile. Um, I don't need any. Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Got building. Nope. Thinking about it. That thing. Go for someone who wanted to avoid math. Well, I copy and paste it. Do 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 do. Mm, mm, mm. And after I name. And no. <laughs> oh, hey, I saw it. it was up there? Look, there it is. I'm pointing my screen. Why can't you see my finger? Oh, I'm pointing with the math too. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hmm, I'm now debugging math. I want to do this even worse. Wait, is translate and scale enough? Should be. It's all going to be mapped to 2D space. Okay. So what's our so we said to translate 440 and 160 yeah okay so this is, the numbers are completely whatever so i'm going to assume they take into account the uh the angle um so 40 is our x that makes sense so what's our real x here yeah minus no why do I always end up in these situations where I get some code that I didn't write that contains math and I'm like hmm I wonder why it didn't work all right scrap that idea it was a nice idea but I'm scrapping it that'll do this is close enough um is it close enough though It's not close enough. So I still need the real I need I still need to know what cell that is for the actual collision to work. <sighs> so I still uh, I need to do math. Alright, so the train, we know the position of the train. We know the angle of the train. This has got to be easy enough, right? <laughs> Maybe. Um, Alright, anyway. Do you need the position of the f in front of the train or x distance ahead of the track? Uh, so, 
I specifically want, I think, I don't know, the position in front of the train. So when it's going around the corner like this, it should be in this cell and in this cell, I think. Because, I mean, like the train, you know, if you look at the corner of the train, kind of comes out of the track a bit. So I think it's more real worldy to say that, well, you know, the train might have to, like that train might have to wait if, oh, well, I can't do this. But yeah. yeah. Uh, if there was a, like if there's a train turning here and there's a train here, maybe they'd have to wait. For, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, looking at the next track is kind of kind of easier, I think, because we can just ask the track, you know, hey, what's the next track in front of you? And if it's vertical and you're going up, then it's minus one, and like we probably already got that code. So I think in front of the train is better because these cells are, I don't know, like I kind of. I think the cells are good for drawing, but the train movement is not, you know, limited by that. Um, I mean, I said this was a bounding box, you know, maybe we could have a really wide train, I don't know. <laughs> or an aeroplane, I don't know, now I'm gone crazy. Um, yeah, okay, so I, so I want to know what cell, I mean, I forgot to even turn it on. So I'm... See this again. We draw the train. I draw four trains. Next one. So, yeah, so right here, like you can see it's just over this neighboring cells bit. I actually kind of like that. So, it is just a matter of I need to apply the angle and continue on that path for a bit with math. Um, yeah, but that's cool. I actually, yeah, I'm not actually so fast about the collision yet. I just want to do this. This was surprisingly quick. I'm actually like, yeah, this was really quick. I'm kind of tempted to, um, in fact, I'm going to check that in. Because that's what I want for now. Maybe I'll move that three to a property of the train then. Um, and then eventually, you know, that train can be an I, whatever. I'm not doubting myself. Jeez. I only doubt myself with math. Um, no, I mean, I think it's great. It, the, the quickness with which I could do that is, is what I love about this project because I have every, all of the pieces, right? I create a layer renderer. I fill in the render method. The rest just works. Like that is, it's the best part of automatic DI. I love it. Um, so what do we call this? We're going to call this, uh, um, I'm tempted to call it like seeing distance. <laughs> mm, feels weird. Collision would not be detected if they are heading towards each other. Yeah, I mean, that's, so that's a good point. You could have two trains heading towards each other and if they're on a corner, neither of them are looking at the next track. That's kind of true. Um, but this is just a focal point. Yeah, we could expand this to be an arc. Like, we could, you know, there's, there's lots we could do here. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to get into arc terrain again. What is this? Uh, oh, I don't know. Let's, let's call this... Um, I don't know. Front edge. Mm. It's actually the front edge. Oh, wait, hang on. Wrong one. It's this one. And it is, it is the train front edge distance uh, multiplied by the cell size, because of course the train is not allowed to know about pixels. And so this is one. And actually, oh, negative set. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah. And then I should be able to, so I can, I can do 0.5. That'll stop the overhang as much. Uh, no, I can't. Is this an int? <laughs> I gotta get our ints. I know, a float just despise big double. Replace it with a method. Oh, really? But I don't want to. Use block block. I don't want to do that either. Remember, does not access instance data because it's marked as static. No, it can't because I'm. Ah. Oh. I sometimes this analyzer, this marker static analyzer, is the worst because it's like if it looked at where this was used. I mean, I guess yeah. The reality is you make this part of the interface. Actually, that'll mm, that'll do it too. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's make a part of the interface, and then this this bounding box thing is a bit more feature proof. Except that it doesn't work. Damn it. So 0.5 of a cell size. Oh. This should be 20, right? 20. 20x, 0y, 3. Did I induce, induce 20? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. I bet you it's underneath the train. I bet you it's underneath the train. Uh, I want this to be on the diagnostic layer. Ooh, I can have constants for my orderings. Uh, you don't have either. Disposable kit. All right. I bet you this is smack bang at the front of the train. Oops, wrong one. Yep, there it is. I can see it. Just can you see? Enum fraudulent. Mm, I could do enum fraudulent, but, but then you end up with like high, higher, highest. It's like I went higher plus one, but is that higher than highest? Um, okay, so let's do point eight and see if that works. Uh, I'm happy that it's ints because you know once there's a global marketplace of these things, everyone's going to want to fight over numbers. It'd be fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yay, we have a point. Each layer gets it. Yeah, I mean, I could do that, but yeah. It's also, the layers are not, as I said, the the, the, the thing I enjoy is that I could make a new layer renderer. So having an enum that lists all the layers is kind of defeats that purpose. Um, and so this has, this now has a more chance of being accurate because the point is closer to the front of the train, so it's going to overlap other cells less. But that's alright. I'm happy with that. Um, oh, I was going to do this. I vehicle movable. Mm. Let's go really generic, and then we can have like sheep in the future. And now. I go control dot and I go pull up and then the warning should go away. No? Yay! Okay. Now this is now got nothing to do with trains. So get trains. Oh yeah, I need to implement I disposable. Uh the Every time I do this, I forget how you go like this. You add the U, and then you er, and you implement it through that one, and also through the other one, which it doesn't often. Okay, uh, so now I need this to be I movable. Um, uh, er, need to rename. Oh, columns. And this, I need a new method here called get movables, which gets everything. I'm not going to do this. I take this back. Uh, it's all well and good, and it would work, but I need to think that through a bit more because I don't really. Oh no, no, let's. 
Nah, it's alright. We can always change things in the future. I was just thinking that, um, you know, now I need to think about what's in unmovable, and then does this have a get, like this get trains? That now needs to be get movables, but does it also have get trains? And, um, <clears throat> let's go with get movables. This is, yeah, that's cool. Uh, do that. So this is our movable. Movable. Movables. I probably should have done this as a separate bit. T. This returns a T. Movables dot of type T. Sweet. And every other reference to train is I movable now, right? Uh, I movables. Mm-hmm. Uh, get movables. Is that? Oops. Ah. T. T. Oh, I need a word. T. I movable. Do I need that on the method itself as well? I guess I do, since it has no implementation. Cool. What else doesn't compile? Okay, column and row, that's easy. We go to train, and we go... Uh, let's pick them all. So, column, row. Now, angle and relative left and top. We kind of don't need that yet, I think. But it would be interesting if there was more, I guess we could genericize that train movement class perhaps, if there was a need for a sheep to go around it. <laughs> oh no, relative left and top, we do need it. Oh, and we need angle as well. Fine. You see, it's never as easy as you think. And then, yeah, like at this point, we now may as well do the rest of it. This train position obviously can be renamed. This can now be a movable position. <clears throat> All right, does that compile? It does. Should I fix some warnings? Probably. Want the error list empty? Interpolation can be simplified. Yeah, I guess it can. <clears throat> um, okay. Ugh, object. What if that's not? No one's complaining. That's weird. I should get another one there, right? I don't know. Alright, cool. IntelliCode is probably wrong. It's where you find random numerals. Yep. Ooh. Visual bug. Don't see them often. Okay. Cool. I think we now have a proper bounding box renderer that doesn't draw a bounding box visually. It draws, it draws a single point. Um, actually, I could make it. Yeah, I should make it draw a proper bounding box. There's no reason that a movable <coughs> can't have a. Yeah, there's no reason that that train couldn't have a width and a length and just define its length as being longer than its body, and that's its hitbox. That kind of makes sense. Like, its hitbox coordinates can be completely different from its drawn coordinates. I could do that in the future. Let's wait till we have sheep, and we need that, um, because then I don't need to worry about hitboxes and what shape they are. <coughs> cool. That is. Awesome. I love procedural graphics because you can do fucking around things. Must do that. Oh, that bug is egregious now. Look at that. One day, maybe I'll get rid of all the ints and make everything floats or something and see if that helps. Like this. Oops. This, this multiplication. Oh, the multiplication. That's all I need. Ints. 
Um, yeah. Anyway. Cool. Check it in. What's next? It's still only 10 o'clock. Not even. What have we done here? Have we knocked any of these off? <clears throat> oh, save. I should do save. That would be good. Cruise Nevoidance. Hmm. Package monitoring services. Yeah, I should set that up one day. <clears throat> Dependable. Okay, this one. We have done this. I should have tagged this in the commit. This was done on the 18th of March. <laughs> oh. Um, done the track class, produces validity checks, done the. I wonder if we haven't done any of these yet. <coughs> Unit tests? You wish. Throwing off by one, yeah, I know, tell me about it. Losing tests? No. Global exception has that. That one I did log a issue for. So I will clean that up. Because that is, I saw that here. 37. Have I tried collections? No, I don't know what they are. Uh, this one, so we go that and we strike through. <coughs> cool. Ask you that, yeah. Let's do what have we got? We've got about half an hour. <coughs> Can we do saving and loading in half an hour? Sure, why not? What are we going to do? Uh, actually, oh, I just thought of another issue to raise. Let me show you. And play, pause, and speed controls. And pause, and go fast. Uh, going fast would be a great way to find bugs, because there will be a lot of them. Because there's floating points. Uh, okay, so let's do save and close. I guess we'll start. Let's start with automatic save. Uh, I don't know. So the problem with save and load is uh, it's all well and good to write a file, but how does that work on iOS? Or how does that work, you know, on the web? Um, so I kind of need a storage abstraction, I guess. <sighs> yeah, okay, that's all right. I can do a store storage abstraction in this layer, and then I can have the save and load happen in the main page, I think. Oh, sorry, in the game. Yeah, it should happen in the game, right? Game or game board? Set size. Save and load, I don't think. No, I think game board. Okay, so we want game board. Don't tell me this isn't using DI. Oh, good. Well, wow, game board has no defenses. That makes sense. Uh, I game storage. Now, do you know what I've just realized? I have no idea if this DI cares if there's missing implementation there. So if this runs, that's good, because it means that when we do do iOS and web and whatever, if we don't implement storage yet, at least the game will run. But this isn't running, so I'm guessing this is throwing an exception. That's kind of annoying. Can I like specify a policy? Is there a with? Nope. Is there a hmm? Build service provider. Validate scripts. No. Service writer options. Sounds good. It's not an enum. Validate on build. 
There was the false. Oh. No, I don't want to validate at all. I want you to wire up null. Can I like... Is that here? Where is that extension coming from? Ah, oh, it's coming from Comet. Huh. That's actually... I could use that. That's nice. Uh, good old extensions on objects. Um, how do I configure this to explicit nullable in the constructor? Oh, maybe. That's not a bad idea. I thought there is a way. I'm pretty sure there's a way somewhere where you can configure all this stuff, but maybe it's on those collection things. No. I think it might be if you're using, the, like, there's multiple ways you can use this DI. You can do services like this or not or whatever. Um, no, 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 not that. <clears throat> yeah. Try out for a minute, isn't it? All right, never mind. Let's try your suggestion because it is kind of genius, and if it works, I'll be very happy. And if it doesn't, I'll persevere anyway, and we'll just means we're forced when we create a new endpoint for it. We're forced to do it properly, which is not a bad thing. Yeah, through an exception, unable to resolve service for type. I go search. Oh, you know what? I don't need to worry about that at all. I can just have. Oh, I wonder how this works with priorities. I could just create like a null, uh, you know, a null op storage for. Um... Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's not do that. Though. So we're gonna have a. <clears throat> I guess this is just file system storage. In memory. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it's internal, it's a storage, no, it's a game storage, and cool. All right, so let's do some kind of TDD, but not in that I'm going to write the code I want to write, and a little stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, what do we have to do here? Basically, hmm, I've just realized that I need to serialize all this stuff, and maybe it would have been easier to just make the whole game board serializable. But that means our game storage needs to be out one level. But I don't remember where out one level is. I think it's in um is it in main page? There's a game. Oh my oh is it in game? Yeah, that's the game board. But it yeah, I don't want to let somebody money in the rendering engine. I mean I could serialize this, but yeah. Just track store its pause. Uh yes. Oh well no, the dictionary does. Because you may need to serialize track. Well, I was thinking we could serialize trains as well. There's no reason that I mean there's no reason this couldn't serialize everything, including timer intervals. Um but yeah, okay, fair enough. We'll start with tracks. That is what that is kind of the thing you may want. Um Fine, I won't go overboard. <clears throat> So, do, 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 do. yeah, let's just do that. Let's go tracks equals storage dot load tracks. And then I'm going to, hmm, do I dispose things? Is this, I assume this is disposable? No. I wonder if I can just do this on dispose and say, yeah, save. 
Or do I be uh, paranoid and save on every adding of a track because we think it's going to crash? Let's load the tracks and let's do that. And that'll keep us honest. And do you reckon there's a possible null in the house? Oh, yeah, I'll have to do an X there. Okay, so we'll load the track. Load, load the tracks. How do I do this? Implement. All right. So we are going to say. Trains.net dot tracks is our file name. And our full file name, uh, which is a file path, yeah, is we want environment dot environment dot uh, folder. Special folder local up data my documents. Where do you want your trains, people? Let's go local. Application yeah, application data. Cool. And then we'll pop up mine. That comma trains down there, comma file. Okay, so if the file doesn't exist, and you, and you, okay, <clears throat> I first want that I require this premise. Why is this? Why is my cursor a hand? Oh, there we go. We'll put up. I hate it when things just happen. Okay. Uh, so we want to go. How do we want to? How do we want to do this? I guess this should be I serializable. Or do I just use, oh, let's use system.text.json. I've never used system.text.json. No, wait. I can't because I'm still no 4.7. I need comment to update to .NET Core so I can use system.json. So I don't have system.text.json, do I? All right, Newtonsoft. Oh, am I already using Newtonsoft? Wait, really? No. Is is that coming in from uh, Comet? Ah, oh, Comet got reload. That's interesting because that won't be deployed. Huh. I think I'm going to add a reference to it just in case. I kind of don't trust that. So that's a debug only package. Didn't track have colon row? Yes. I, I sincerely hope it does. I want column, I want row, I want direction, I want happiness so I don't have to recalculate it. I want it all. Do, 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 do. Um, Include. Okay. Opt in, Newton's Oft, download. Oh, is it 12.02? Oh, that's now downloaded. Okay, let's not download it. It's fine. Two is fine. I'm not fuzzy. You don't need to store int, int, track, just track. Oh, sorry. I get what you're saying now. Does track have colon? Yes. Good point. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't worked out what I'm going to store yet, so don't worry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, I only need to sort of track. Um, <clears throat> that's true. 
Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so I guess realistically it would be a better API if this just did that. Bye. We win. Um, I guess it's just called retracks then. And I guess I'll make a right tracks method up like here. How do you do the hat? It says I can't do the hat. It's not fair. I bet it's because you've like got privilege. Oh well. Enjoy your privilege. You deserve it. You're a generous man. Uh cool. Yep, yeah, that's not important. All right, so this can now return um, enumerable dot empty track. <coughs> Check your privilege. Yeah, no, you have to check it. It's all good. So tracks is now a list. All right. Uh, wait, no, I don't even need to do that, do I? I just can go JSON. Uh, yeah, I think I can just go JSON convert dot deserialize uh, file dot read. Oh, this is horrible. Read all text file path. That's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. I love it. It is the laziest storage ever. In fact, it's so lazy, I'm going to implement this. Um, serialize tracks. And, oh, I bet you that doesn't take an idea of what I probably need to. Was it DCLF2? Yeah, uh, I wonder if it'll, if it'll take an idea of what to an array. Hopefully. Right, all text file. Yeah, I can just deserialize it through. Deserialize. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna work. Cool. Oh. oh. What? No. Oh. Digitalized object. Aha. Oh, that's what I had. So it's still just called object. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. All right, let's see if that works. Uh, no, we need to write. We need to write the parts. So, tracks is here. Okay, so we're going to find tracks. That is, uh, no, for This becomes a new one again. And we go tracks. Easy. And so what we're going to do is in add track, I can go storage, right tracks, tracks, pop values. God, if this works, I tell you. This works. This is like everything is quick today. This is great. Ah, this is so enjoyable. This is what I love about development on a project where things are set up right and just write code, get stuff done. It's an awesome pick me up. If it runs without crashing, which I'm pretty sure it has because I can't see anything. Um, right. What would be wrong? Ah, I bet your iGame storage is internal. And it needs to be wrong. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I am sorry. Okay. Oh no, it is public. Is it engine? Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, 
Oh, I know why. It's because I've defined it in here. I'm not actually scanning that assembly. Let's, uh, yeah, let's scan this assembly. I really should just scan all assemblies. A static focal point of that kind of like this. Is. Oh, what? That makes sense. <laughs> I hate it when the compiler's right. Um, yeah, this will just add all sorts of. Oh no, actually, it won't. No, it won't add any interface. Okay. Uh, cool. So that crashed. Oh. Yep. 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 No, it was too hard. Uh, too easy. Salt one. PJ salt. I don't know what PJ salt means. <gasps> There's a train. See the train icon. Well done, the app guy. Thank you for activating the train or whatever. I called that um, the file when I made it. OG train is. I'm gonna obviously make the trains look better, but you'll know. All right, so tracks. We should have one track reading. Horizontal, excellent. So I'm guessing this is just not happy with a random enumeral. Oh, it is. Well, we don't need can connect. Right. <clears throat> Where? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay, we don't need all those, but that's okay. Why did I throw an exception? Oh, is it like a file permissions exception? Oh, I have to create the... Really? Oh, I guess I have to create the directory. Um... Yay! Thank you, the app guy. Uh, get directory name, file, path. Oop. Okay. Yeah. I'm so confident I'm not debugging. It's a terrible idea. Yeah, I kind of was like envisaging those, those tracks. They got mustaches. It's kind of envisaging, uh, like, you know, drawing tracks out in chat, but I need to draw more tracks. Oh my god, it works! Close and moment of truth. Yes, look at that. Oh, eraser doesn't work. Why would the eraser not work? This makes no sense to me. How could I have broken this? Oh dear. I mean, it does, it means I need to, uh, in remove track, I need, I mean, I need to do this again, but why? Column, comma, row. That's how I did it, right? Is that saying it can be null? Ah, oh, it can't be null. I fixed that, didn't I? Oh, I need to. Okay. Oh, hang on. Unless these tracks are not coming back properly. Well, let's see, do they join up? No. Oh, okay. So that's interesting. That's very interesting. So the direction is coming back, but something must be missing. Twitch plays trains. Yeah, exactly. Twitch plays trains. You draw the track out, and you yeah, exactly. So okay, let's have a look at our track. It's horizontal. It's at three comma six. Oh, dependency injection. Yep. 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 That makes perfect sense. My tracks are too smart. Post on it. Well, hey, 
eventually you write your own boat class. All right, what's game board used for here? It is used to get its neighbors. Hmm. <sighs> that makes sense. Um, okay, so there is no, and those neighbors, that's an internal, it's a, oh, it's public. Are they called from, no, they don't, they don't need to be public. Okay, let's actually just double click check that and make them private. Okay, so what that means is that it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, let's make all these private as well. Um, yeah, so what this means is even if I extract this out to a separate class, um, I could extract this out to a separate class and I could pass that in here. But yes, as you said, abstract storage then new it up as you retrieve it. So I have to new it up as I retrieve it. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just new it up. Like, because it's only new track this and then we just set column like yeah I'll just do this it's not the worst thing in the world I guess eventually maybe it'll be a bit smelly as I if I add more properties or things um, but it's fine that'll do <coughs> Um, I should probably make these, well actually first of all this one, oops, there, there, people are getting tired because my fingers aren't in the right spot soon, uh, let's make this down here, I should probably make these methods because I don't want them serialized, uh, but I also don't want to put chase and ignore attributes on them because then I'm tying this class to its serialization format and I don't like that. Uh, now I've got to fix all these compilers. <laughs> okay. That one. That one. Oh, they only use ones each. Really? Wow, that's funny. Whoa, nope. All of the tests. <laughs> Grr. Now I really want to pass in null again. You know what? Um, no, shouldn't. This is why I have DI. This is why I have interfaces. Like, I'm not really using the interfaces yet. This is why I should mock a storage or I have a test. Yep, yeah. no, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Uh, now storage. Pass a test storage. Yes. What would a test storage do? Oh, to load. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, you could load this from a file. Oh, now that now there's a fun challenge. Now the trick. Oh, there, yes. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, check this out. Right. A class called. You ready for this? ASCII art storage. <laughs> That's it. That's the issue. How cool would that be? Just draws out a picture of the tracks and then reads it back in again. <laughs> That's so cool. Yes, and then that can be the test storage. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, this returns an empty. And this don't do nothing. Cool, and then we go that. No, we don't want this. We want that. Sweet. And this is sure. I'll make it right. 
Okay, look at that. Hey, I have just finally justified my use of interfaces. So, what do you mean unused field? Give me a break. Um, is it null and more? Sure. Oh, then why don't I just return null? That's easier. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Wait. Oh, hang on. There's not another one. Well, that's weird. So that's not nullable, but that's decided it is. That's... Wait. Yeah, that's not decided on. That's really weird. Huh. I do not know why that is. Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. No, nope. I reject your question marks. Um, this is... I did just update this. This is now on 16.6 uh, .6 preview 1, I believe. So it could be a bug, because it is still a preview version. Um, but 16.6 .6 preview 1 is out, meaning 16.5 final for everything is out. So you can press this button, and you can see this import tree. Right out. Actually, you know what else you can do? Oh, here's something cool. Here's something cool you don't know about. Well, hopefully. So, trains.net.wpf references trains.net.com. It doesn't reference trains.net.engine. I mean, it does through this, but we will ignore that. I can go click and oh, drag. I can't drag. Okay, maybe that's in. Not out yet. I thought that was in 16.5. You can drag a reference. Oh well, never mind. That's coming. Uh, cool. So this should now work again, right? Or is this going to complain there's my JSON files now invalid because it's got those four properties which track doesn't have? No, it's not complaining. And it works. I can erase the track. And when I run it again, the track looks good. Maybe? Yes. Alright, I think I need an erase all button. Because this is going to be annoying otherwise. But that is fantastic. Three features, all done relatively simple with no math, which is always the best. We briefly almost dabbled in math, but we're all right, we're fine. We saved it. He's got bugs. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Yep, bugs. But that is, boy, is that a successful, successful evening. I am so happy. Just every now and again, you got to write some. I bet you to merge the tests. Merge the tests? I need to run the tests, actually. Um, every now and again, you just need to take a break and write some code for fun. Like, be productive, because boy, there's enough crap in this world to get you down, especially at the moment. Wash your hands. Um, merge the tests. Oh, do you mean your PR? You abandoned that PR. Did you forget? I have no open PRs. I'm sorry. So Scott wrote uh, some of these tests. And then I believe, what, wrote a, an Excel page with like 784 tests or something? I didn't put it as PR. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, so you just want me to merge the committee or something. Yeah, and that'll show too many bugs. Um, they'd all fail. These ones all pass. See, <laughs> green tests are better than red tests. <laughs> Therefore, don't check in red tests. Makes perfect sense. Don't know why. Uh... Yeah. Uh, cool. Should we? Uh, what's the time? 10.27. We've got time. Oh, you want me to click that link, do you? No, oh, God. 
I can't. Can you do that? Uh, so, 17 files changed. 9 commits. Oh, it doesn't change any lines. Oh, yes, look at that. There you go. 1,773 additions. Look at all these tests. Look at them all. There's so many of them. Extreme. I'm going to reject it because this doesn't have the um, rock hands emoji, but otherwise I would have. Um, yeah, these are these the ones that these are the ones that fail, right? And then you change the code to make them pass or something, but you didn't include that in this PR in this commit because that would be cheating. Yeah, like I, yeah, don't lose that link. I just don't want that yet today. Don't don't bring me down, man. I did I did, I was productive. I did things. Um, I want to do though just quickly. I. Think I want an erase all tool. Um, which is easy enough. Uh, no, let's go and erase all. Um, and here we see the beauty inherent in the system is how easy this should be to implement. Oh. No, this is a type of tool for which I do not have a good UI because this is not pixel bound. Hmm. So now I can either have this, you click on a track and it follows the tracks around and deletes them all. <laughs> but that's not going to be able to be implemented in the rest of this stream. So nope, back it up. I never said anything. You want to erase all your trains? You just slowly erase all of your trains. Um, yes, definitely need another a boolean tool type thing. Uh, maybe we can do play pause. We can just have a destruct button. Doesn't even need to really be a a tool. Um, but I, I, I kind of like the idea of a tool that goes around and deletes one track. Like if you draw two completely separate, it can just not like it can ignore cross tracks. It can follow both ways of a T intersection. I think that's pretty cool. Um, auto save and load our tracks. Well, I mean, for all of that code, there wasn't much. Boy, like, is that a time save? Wow. Like, yeah. Just the fact that I can run this and I can just have tracks in front of me and put a train on. And the train button's always going to be at the end. So I know where it is because it's ordered now. Quality of life. See, quality of life's better than bugs. Sometimes you just need to do stuff. Oh, but look at all of the bugs. There's so many bugs. Anyway, uh, that's it for me. Thanks for tuning in. If you tuned in, thanks the app guy for uh, hanging out and for subbing and for using and emojis emotes and for and for like how did you i don't know how you did the train thing but you, you got i'm glad you got it it says cheer one when i hold my mouse over it but now it says bits leader one i will work out this twitch stuff eventually maybe i don't know i don't know what cheering is i'm not gonna lie uh nine messages were deleted by moderator oh no you were spamming <laughs> oh no I should probably just turn that stuff off because I uh, I really don't get enough content in my chat window that it's worth uh, worrying about. But anyway, um, cool. Thank you for tuning in and uh, <laughs> thank you for uh, for watching on YouTube if that's what you're doing. Look at these. There's two, there's two trains going. I can't even remember. Ah, oh, these poor things. All I want to do is go forward and they just get stuck. I wonder if one of them gets through. Oh! Behavior change. Oh no, just enough trains that you can't see the flashy anymore. I kind of want one of them to win just to prove that it's like floating point problems. So for that one, let's see what this is going to Anyway, alright, so I'm getting distracted by trains, David. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and uh, catch you next time. Ciao.